Okay, I'm here. I'm here. In desperate need of a haircut. Ramshackle and unshaven, but this can't wait any longer. Hello there, it's me. Forgive me, I haven't turned the lights on. I'm filming this, I'm editing it, I'm sending it out. In this video, we're gonna talk about life after COVID. We're gonna talk about this studio that I built with my own two hands. You watched me. We're gonna talk about Bake With Jack Limited as a company and why it really must close and what it means to you as a viewer, as a subscriber, and as a club member. Please don't worry. So grab a cup of tea, uh, get comfy. I've got notes and I'll try and keep it short, but you know me. If you have watched with a keen eye the videos I've made over the past four years, you may notice in a few of them, not all of them, the phenomenon I like to call dead eye. It's when someone's heart is not quite in it, but they're trying, man. They're really trying. I see it in other YouTubers, uh, and it says to me, he's over it. They don't want to be here anymore. It's sad, and you might see it in their eyes as well. And uh, if you don't see it, you'll sense it. You'll, you'll feel it. You, you're clever people, you know what I'm talking about. I've blamed COVID and everything that came with it for this, for my lack of creative energy and consistency. Like after COVID, everything changed. I felt different. I function differently now. It's like I'm a different human on this side. I see myself in the past, happy-go-lucky chappy, just talking about bread and having fun. And I think, man, where did that guy go? I mourn his loss. It sounds extreme, doesn't it? But I do, and it sucks. In the pandemic, I built this studio, didn't I? As a result, I no longer spend my days driving the bake with Jack Mobile, rest in peace, to people's homes, making bread together, hosting classes in different venues all over the place and doing shows. 99% of that had gone. That's a factor, I'm sure of it. I'm an accidental YouTuber now. It was never intended. And so therefore I am also subject to the ever-changing landscape of the online world. There's a big shift recently and I'm not gonna whine about it, but it's changed things. Everything's turning into TikTok. It's different now. People like different stuff. Putting stuff online feels different. The game has changed. Also though, around the same time as COVID, uh, Bake With Jack became an official limited company. -da 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 -da. Check that out. For those of you who don't know what that means, basically it separates me from the company, that's the point of it. Meaning it's no longer Jack doing his thing, helping people to make bread and earning a crust along the way. It's now Jack Sturgis, company director and CEO of Bakery Jack Limited. External to the business, yet owning the business and growing an empire, uh, yet also with working within the business and mopping the floors, it's all very confusing. The punchline is it separated me uh, as a person from this. It separates me from this and it drives a wedge between my efforts and work, personality, and the sense of award and achievement that I get from that work. Does that make sense? There's a disconnect here, which combined with everything else makes me feel sometimes like, what's the point in doing this? Does anybody care anyway? What is the point in doing anything at all? I discovered the link between this event and my emotional state and well-being about three months ago, just before Christmas probably, it was like a bomb dropped in my head and the business has to go down the toilet like now. If I am to attempt to recoup any sense of worth in the work that I do. Actually, you know what? Probably still need this a little bit longer. <laughs> it turns out dissolving a company is long. Longer than making bread. <laughs> well, that's enough about me. How are you? What does this mean for you anyway? What is Jack even talking about? Let's go through with it, shall we? Firstly, your main concern at this point is probably the Home Bakers Club. Please, worry not. Closing the business uh, does not mean closing the Home Bakers Club. And it will continue to become the greatest online learning bread making platform of all time, as said by me, who made it. There's loads to come and there's a rock solid plan. Just because the company no longer exists doesn't mean the club no longer exists and I'm fully committed and excited to bring more and more and more and more and more. It's been really fun so far, more on this later as well. What about here on YouTube? So far all of this mess uh, hasn't taken me that much time. Actually it has taken me a lot of time. It hasn't taken me that much time. It has, however, taken up quite a lot of my mental capacity. More than I thought it would. Stress. I've been hiding. <laughs> Sometimes I find myself in this concrete box just doing this. Uh, what, 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 I, what? I am confident inside. 
uh, at this point in time that proper long videos will make a return. In time, we can begin to have fun again like we did in the olden days. Oh. In the meantime though, please don't berate me for making shorts, man. Oh my gosh, the abuse. They're quite fun to make and I think they're helpful and it's my way of keeping in touch with you every once in a while. We've spoken about this next bit before, but the Home Bakers Bulletin used to be a weekly email delivered to you for free with a roundup of my weekly content in it from the week. It's now a monthly Home Bakers Bulletin. Less stuff clogging up your inbox and more value for you uh, when it does arrive and you do open it. It's free if you don't get it yet. Um, the links are, you know where the links are. Sign up for Home Bakers Bulletin. Get free stuff, it's sweet. Another great thing for you to come out of this car crash of a situation for me is there is a massive sale gonna be on in the Bakery Jack shop because I need to get rid of stuff, sharpish. I'll let you know when it starts and if it's already started, I will pin a comment in the comments. If there was Bake With Jack bits and bobs that you wanted to pick up for all this time and you just haven't picked it up, have a look at the sale. Uh, there's loads of stuff in there. Please help me clear out the warehouse and also pay the giant massive bill of the money that it costs to shut down the company. <laughs> I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I know I said it earlier, but I, I never really have done. I think that gives me power that others don't have. I've been called an influencer at the school drop off, a content creator, which is such a nothing term anyway. Like what even is that? Somebody creates content. What even is content? Contents is like that page in the front of a book, isn't it? That tells you what else is to come. Does that mean everything after that is just content? Is it just, it's just content, mate. Just, I'm just, Looking at content. I don't feel like that's me either. I'm a person. And I always have been a person here to see you having a tricky time of doing something and saying to you, it's all right. You'll get it in time and maybe this will help along the way. That is the essence and always has been. And I don't want to lose that. I'd like to know if you find the shorts helpful or if they're, they're best in a home of their own on a channel like a Bake With Jack shorts channel, you can see them or not. So let me know if you have any suggestions underneath. Here, for the future, in the studio, you may well know that I've started to open the place up a little bit and get some human beings in to hang out with me for an afternoon. It's been really fun. We've been doing baguettes in here and having some lunch after. We've been having really jovial, fun times with wonderful bread people. I wanna do more of that. It's healthy for me, it's fun. It reminds me why I do this in the first place and it allows me to connect with you personally. You'll find tickets on the website where it says events. If you are in the country and you wanna come, or if you're not in the country and you wanna fly over from Zimbabwe, where is that anyway? Africa? The Home Bakers Club is only getting better. Since we introduced the forum a couple of months ago, a lot of you are in there chatting. Some of you told me that you don't do social media. I don't do Facebook, I don't do this, but I do do this, the Home Bakers Club Members Forum, because it's a nice bunch of wonderful bread making people coming together, helping each other out, posting, hey, I made this at the weekend. This didn't go quite right. What do you think? It's the wickedest thing ever. And that's what I kind of had in mind when I made it, but that is not down to me. That's down to all of you who have populated it. It's your kindness towards one another and good nature that makes it such a wonderful place. Recipes will come to the Home Bakers Club every single month. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing this spout bread right now. It's pretty cool in there. I think together we've created something quite unique. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. And there's like 20 something odd bread recipes in there and much more besides. So in the immediate future, uh, this is gonna drag on, man. I had no idea. I will be busy for a while here, it turns out. Try not to lose my mind. Um, dotting the T's and crossing the I's and try not to get arrested uh, by the tax man in amongst all the, um, <laughs> the closure, the paperwork <laughs> and maths. <laughs> While I wholeheartedly understand disappointment that many of you may be feeling for the Bakery Jack channel devolving into just the shorts channel now where I'm not entirely present, this is not permanent. Uh, the comments hurt because it's only me here truly knowing what's going on uh, and now you do too. Comments like that fill me with a sense of urgency and panic that I really must get on with this and do it and fix it right now, but I can't. Please uh, be patient and please Help me clear all the stock from the shop. <laughs> Thank you for being here. As always, here's to you. And here's to me never truly knowing exactly if I'm doing the right thing or not, but yet trying anyway, because what else am I gonna do? Run it by the team. Hey guys, is this the right thing to do?
Oh yeah, there's nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see.